Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We won the die roll. Let's get our hand rolling. And look at that hand. Look at that hand. Can't keep it. You know it'll do us dirty. You know it will. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, we'll keep this, but it's a bit unfortunate. We'll just drop a hunter. Say done. We'll go Blossoming Sands. Get our Ash Barons going. We'll figure it out. What did you guys think about the last two days of Slivers? Let me know in the comments below. Were you pumped about some Pioneer? Leave a comment and leave a like if you enjoyed those videos. If you want to see them next week, get the excitement going, get the hype going, get those views going. I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Uh-oh, Tron. All right, we pulled out a win against uh, Mono Blue Control on Monday. Let's see if we can get a win against Tron. It's a bit awkward. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just get a planes. And then we'll just play Sidewinder, get something down. We don't have any good pressure, so we're going to have to Winding Way next turn. And just start, start getting some Lords. Passing. And we drew another Hunter. That's lovely. All right. Don't counter this. Wow. Well, we uh, we cleared some lands, I guess. Jeez. Okay, we're in a bit of trouble. We are in a bit of trouble. Haven't had a bust on Winding Way in a while, uh, but it happens. It happens. And they just had natural Tron. Can't do anything about it. Ooh, self-assembler is good against us. Oh, man, they're just going to be playing these things every turn. Uh, I have this in my mono green Tron. Good card. I think it needs to come back in the Tron decks more. This might be Mono Green Tron even. Uh, I think Mono Green is the one that plays these more over the the other decks. Oh, well, we found a Lord. That's nice. We'll play that. And if we drop another Sidewinder, we might be able to start attacking into these guys. Eventually. Self Assembler is good though. If this is Mono Green Tron, we're in for a world of hurt. They are playing with Cave of Temptation though. Um, so maybe they're not quite mono green. Let's see what they tap for here. Green? Okay. Maybe they're just playing with it. Uh, if they put out their fang guy, their gain life, it's not going to be good for us either. Oh, yep, there he is. Fang green, marauder. We're screwed. They're just about to pop off and gain five life every time they crack a chromatic star. Or sphere. Look at that. Bam. Five life. I don't, uh... I don't see how we win this one. Uh, if we had more of a board presence and we slammed a hunter, maybe get rid of this guy, but uh, we'll see. Hey, who is excited? I didn't talk about this on Mondays, and I should have. Jumpstart and M21, Core 21, has got some good cards for us in Slivers. Who's excited for those, those new lands from Jumpstart? They're the dual lands... They come in tapped, but you choose a color other than the color they're branded. So if you can have a green, uh, when it, I forget the names of them, but it's a tap land comes in. You can tap it for green, but when it comes in tapped, you can choose another color that it can tap for, and then you can choose. So super, super good fixing for three color decks in Popper. It will replace the one life gain lands. Blossoming Sands for our deck. Bye-bye. Sorry, I'm going to be using that card. Definitely. Um, in any other situation, in any other deck in Popper, you typically will only see two colors. And if you're playing two colors in Popper, you should be playing the life gain dual lands. Absolutely. It's more important. 
Uh, but if you're playing three colors, which is a rarity in Popper, and we're one of the few decks that plays three colors, these new lands are excellent. They're excellent. I'm really excited to put them in the deck and play test them. I think they're really good. If you agree, leave a comment or let me know if you disagree. The other one, is it from Core or is it from Jumpstart? I forget. Um, can't remember. But we have a super good removal that is getting printed for common, for popper. Uh, it's a two mana, white instant, destroy, target, tapped creature. So, it's instant removal for white that we haven't seen before in popper. Excellent, for two mana. Two mana instant to kill a creature that's tapped. Um, I don't believe it's tapped or attacking, it's just tapped. So, if they are attacking, Instant removal on a creature. Gurmog Angler, bye bye. Delver, bye bye. Um, super good. I'm super excited for that too. That's going in a sideboard for me. I like playing with removal in my decks. And Hunter is pseudo removal. Pyroblast has some removal benefits. Other than that, we don't have a ton of removal. Uh, so an instant speed removal in our colors for two mana super good to sideboard it against aggro decks gruel aggro uh stompy delver i think it'll have some value there too especially if they're throwing down gurmogs you can just get rid of it if they attack in tron decks like these mono green tron anything that's thrown big creatures your way that you need to get rid of otherwise if it, they're only playing small creatures like mono blue control you don't need it you don't need it for mono blue control um other decks that just don't play big creatures, we can handle them all day. All day. Um, I'll take another hit. But for bigger, stronger, faster decks, some instant speed removal is really nice. So 12 in the sideboard, pretty nice. Really nice. Uh, all right, cool. Maybe we can try to get something going here eventually. We're very far behind, but we'll see what we can manage. Do I just play out my other hunter? Block with a gem hide or something? I'm, I'm going into blocking mode, so like we can use one of these, either a, a hunter or a gem hide as a blocker, just to stave off some life, and then we're going to dig for lords, stuff like that. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about those cards. I forget the name of the instant speed one, and I, I don't know the names of the lands. I can't keep track, but uh, if you follow me on Instagram at Lockdown51, we were reviewing them and uh, taking some polls on them. Pretty, uh, pretty neat stuff. Everybody kind of has the same opinion. Like, if you're running two colors, you should play the, the dual one gain uh, lands, and if you're running three colors, which almost nobody does in Popper, seems like a decent fit. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. I'm excited to try it out, and everybody's loving the instant speed removal white card, too. So let me know what you guys think. Alright, they got tons of mana. Uh, we just really need to survive for, like, two more turns to get a board that can start attacking in and provoking these guys. It's not over. It's not. It's just looking very bleak. <laughs> very bleak. Uh, no, I think it's over. Now I think it's over. We'll run our lead, the Stampede, but I don't think we can recover from a Stolen Lord now. Yeah. So they're running Journey, huh? And they're going to play another Self-Assembler. Alright, you know, uh... I don't think we can come back from this. I'm going to concede. We'll let him attack. Swinging for 13. I don't know why you're not swinging with Fangren. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. All right. Let me just let me just take a look at what we could have gotten with the Stampede. If they haven't stolen our Lord, maybe we could have gotten there. So I'm just curious. Uh, another sinew, another gem hide. Uh... All right, can I do anything else here?
Block. I have to block three. Lose this, lose this, lose this. And then what? It's looking bleak. We might have been able to compete if uh, they hadn't stolen our lord. They got four cards in hand too. They got another self-assembler. That's the last self-assembler. But now what do you got? Got no more to choose. You got your four. That's fine. All right, so. Gleeful. No, Prismatic doesn't really help us. Take out one hunter. Maybe two. Maybe we just race. Uh, no, I want to keep him in for the Fang Green. We need to get rid of him if they put him down. One winding. Sure, let's run it back and see how it goes. Uh, we just needed a better start, that's about it. We didn't have a good start. This isn't the best of starts either. Gotta lead the Stampede. I think we can do better. Or can we? Eh, we'll keep. We'll keep. I don't know about this one. I don't know about the sand. It doesn't seem very strong to me. I am just going to get our mana set up. I'll get our, our forest, and then we'll play sentinel. Alright, they're on their way. Winding way? Alright, well, we can start digging for more creatures eventually. Pass. So next turn we can go gem hide, swing in with sentinel, tap and put down sidewinder, unless we get a better option. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Viverlands. It's not bad. What I'm gonna do... Play out the Ash Barons. Go like this. Let's just get a good board down. Play a Sidewinder. Swing for two. And then we will play our Viverlint. Next turn we can lead the Stampede. Power out two Lords maybe. Crack it. Crack that boy. Get your Tron. I don't want to see Self Assembler though. What you got? Chromatic. Okay. Crack it for green. Can't play your fang green. Can you? Don't believe they can. 
cost six. They got six, but they're not. Ah, uh, this is a griff. Is this a griff? Emerged. Oh, mole drifter. Okay. You got the mole in here. Fair enough. I'll attack into you. You got one more play? Got another star or something? If you don't, I'd kind of be sucky. You're going to have to discard to hand size. Ooh, time to discard to hand size. Not bad, not bad. Just give me a lord, and then we'll just be set. Swing in with vigilance and start cracking these things. Oh, yeah. That's what you like to see. Damage, damage, damage. Sentinel doing work. Making us able to attack and fill our board up. Poisonous. They're taking it all. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Watch me. Going in. Boom. Beautiful. Gotta love it. Watch this concede. Can't compete with this. I couldn't compete last game, but I can compete. You can't compete with this. You can't do it. There's nothing you can do here. Putting down another Sidewinder next turn. We gotta lead the Stampede. Oversauce. I don't care. I don't care. That ain't stopping anything. You can only block two things. I'm just gonna lead. Pink, 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 pink. Black, black. Yeah. Uh, I don't see what else you can do here. And then you die. Math is for blockers. Come on. How does this solve anything? I'm so confused. Just let's just go to game three. There we go. <laughs> All right. So they got the Mully D. I don't really care about it. Let's run it back. Okay, cool. That's great. We gonna get screwed again? Oh man, we're gonna get screwed again, aren't we? Can't can't keep these. This is tragic. They're mulligans. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Add. What can I do? What can I do? They mold to six, we mold to four. Tragic. Tragic. Oh, we can do plated into blossoming. Get the gem hide. Get the lord. Maybe we can recover. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen slivers do a lot of stuff. That's a rough mulligan, though. They're going to Ancient Stirrings. So they didn't have a good Tron hand. 
They're going to look for a self-assembler. That's troubling. That's troubling. Maybe that's all they hit, though. Sentinel. Excellent. I'm down for that. Okay, maybe we're recovering here. Slivers have the most satisfying recovery. I'm telling you. So next turn, I... Let's see what we draw. Let's see what we draw. I want to go Sentinel, Swing, and then do Gem Hide on the turn after. But, if we get a one drop, we may just go... Eh, well, I, we'll see. They're slow right now, so we got a second. Ash Barons. Okay. Um... Let's just get our mountain. We'll set up. We'll have our mana right. And yeah, let's do the sentinel move again. We're gonna have some large guys. We'll be able to drop gem hide, swing in, then drop a sinew. Or if we feel like just dropping a gem hide then a sinew swing in for damage but we'll see if we draw a land I mean that's beautiful too then we just drop gem hide sinew and we're just golden from there alright we're recovering we're making it happen they are not close to self assembler yet they got double urza mine cave of temptation yeah not a great start for them either they're gonna Crop rotation, yes. Classic. Crop rotation, their Urza Mine, get an Urza Tower. So will they have Tron? They will. Alright, well. Self-assembler coming down, my guess. Well, I'm glad we got our mountain, because if we get into a position where we draw into Hunter, we're going to really need it. Cycling Suffocating Fuse. Ooh, you sideboarding against me, bro? You sideboarding with that Suffocating Fumes? Hmm, okay. Start getting our lords out. That's all we can do. Pass the turn from here. They're going to have another self-assembler, though. If they don't have another land drop, then that's pretty good for us. They do. They've got another tower, of course. So now they're going to put Pop down a Fangrin. Yep. It sucks. That sucks. And they've got enough mana for another self assembler. Well, uh, I'll give us this. We recovered from the mulligan, but so did they. They're going to go expedition map, though. They want to get the life gain already. Another Urza's Tower. Got to triple up on the towers. Give me a refill. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Let's start there. Let's see what they give us. Oh, what a... What a hit! What a hit! What a beautiful hit! Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oops. Undo. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm a happy boy. Happy boy, happy times. You know, I'm recording this on Saturday. It's Father's Day tomorrow. I'll take this as an early Father's Day gift. Beating Tron. Because we beaten him now. That was a beautiful, beautiful top deck. And a beautiful lead, the Stampede. Oh my goodness. They can get out a full board here, but now... Now it's business time. Ooh, I would love me a first striker or something. Or a hunter. I'll take a hunter too. Slam a hunter and just make them decimate their board would be so satisfying. Two more lords and a plated. They can gain the life, but we about to hit you hard. What's our flanking? Oh, we don't have flanking right now. Okay. Molly, Molly D. Oh, or are you just gonna play yourself assembler? Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Boom, self assembler. All right. Two cards left in hand. They're gonna get a self assembler. Yeah, we know, we know. Winding way. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep digging for our hunter. Okay. Well, we're just gonna grow our board to a massive, massive amount. Until we find a hunter or until we just have a lethal by itself. Because they have good double blocks right now. A uh, bit awkward. Uh, I guess I just want the bodies. Yeah, let's just get the bodies. Storm count of five. Lundabar. What's your play now? Now we can even block a... Next turn, we can block a freaking Crusher, you know? Suffocating Fume ain't doing crap. They play a Crusher, we can block it. Sack our lands, block them all day. Just play patient, and we shall be rewarded. Hmm, what's the title for this video? Hmm? I don't know. I, I can't do like Father's Day related because this is it's gonna be next Friday by the time you guys see this, so Life Gain versus Bor I don't know. I always try to think of names while I'm playing the game. Like what was the most pertinent saucy thing, spicy thing that happened? I think I'll put Fang Green as the thumbnail, though. I mean, I like the self-assembler artwork, too. Maybe I'll do that, switch it up. Depends on the title. Depends on the title. Or I could showcase some Sentinel artwork, because he came in clutch. I think I'll do that, actually. We need some sliver love on our videos. So, they gave Fang Green some counters. We get another Lord. Fine by me. Put down our plated. All right, let's take a gander here. Do I have any more on this side? Is this my full board? All right, I just had to just had to check. Uh, let's bring it like that so I can see what's going on here. So you can block five things. One, two. Three, four, five. I am swinging in for 
Can't kill anything. You can pop this, give two counters on this guy, kill one of our creatures. Five blockers, then we're hitting four, 14. A lot. Two counters here doesn't even kill our creatures. Yep, time to swing. Can't kill them this turn, but they have to block everything. Right? Unless I did the math wrong. I mean, math is for blockers, right? Block it all. Block it all. They're going to gain a bunch of life from the self-assemblers. Um, or will they if Fangreen dies? I guess we'll see. They could gain a bunch of life from the Fangreens, though. I'm curious. Yeah, all right. Trigger stacks. Oh, we did kill him. <laughs> Didn't worry about it. We got him by one. Boom. And this triggers after damage is done, because it has to go into the graveyard. So they don't even get the life gain until after damage is dealt. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, we beat Model Green Tron. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you enjoy Slivers and what we've been doing this week, make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment. Smash the like. This was a great game. Great matchup. If you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. We will see you guys in the next video.